we live in a time period where people might be going to World War III and where we just had a worldwide pandemic that shut, shut the whole world down and where people all over are leaving Islam and joining Christianity. Hmm. World War Three is it gonna happen? <laughs> so, there was that whole thing about the Ukraine missile. Everybody thought it was a Russian missile and they said it was a Russian missile and it landed in Ukraine and killed a couple people. And uh, everybody went crazy about it and President Ukrainian President Zelensky was like, yep, uh, I think we should uh, invoke Article is it Article 4 of the NATO contract. Um, pretty much starts a war with Russia. You know, they retaliate. But, turns out, the missile was apparently a waylaid uh, Ukrainian defense missile, somehow. Actually, I think, now that I'm remembering it, I think it actually landed in Poland, didn't it? It didn't land in Ukraine, it landed in Poland and killed two people. That was the problem, something like that. But then it was like 50 miles into Poland. It wasn't just across the border, so. There was a whole bunch of people out there that seemed to just want a world war. And I get it, they can make money off of it by selling weapons to people and, you know, investing in the right countries and trying to manipulate things. But it's like, I'm sure that there's lots of people out there who want that to happen. And they have no idea what's going to happen to their personal lives. War always produces death. In the Bible, you had wars. And they were sanctioned by God. And if God is good, then the war is good, right? However, those were wars of God's chosen people against the people who had rejected God. So God had a right to uh, remove them from the earth via Israel. With the wars and things that we have nowadays, there's nobody out there that's God's chosen people anymore. Um, you know, anybody that accepts Christ is God's son or daughter. It no longer becomes a thing about self-defense. You know, if it's a self-defense thing that you're going to war with somebody because they're trying to invade you, like, okay, fine. But I think that gets lost in the grander scheme of things. And then it's, oh, well, this country has an alliance with that country. That, that country's got to get pulled into this. And then that country has an alliance with this country, and they got to get pulled into this. There was a sermon that I heard recently. Um, it was a great sermon. And it was, it was one of those that didn't beat around the bush, which I really liked. This guy was essentially saying, um, as a Christian, you may vote for a Republican, you may not, it depends on the guy. Um, there's some that you'd have to object to if you want to stay by Christian principles. Um, but you may vote for a Republican. But in the current state of politics, you cannot vote for a Democrat. If for no other reason than simply because all of them are on board with abortion. And if you're a Christian, then you believe that abortion is murder. And there you go. You can't sanction murder. I know that there's been plenty of people who have said this, but the one I remember most is a guy named John Doyle on YouTube who said, um, you got a pretty good dice roll in life, you know? It's a crazy, amazing, exciting, terrifying time to be alive. We live in a time period where people might be going to World War III and where we just had a worldwide pandemic that shut, shut the whole world down and where people all over are leaving Islam and joining Christianity and where uh, the theory of evolution is collapsing before our eyes. There's all kinds of crazy things going on. And we're alive to witness it all. And how amazing is that? Your life cannot be dull if you get out there and join the rest of the world right now. So I recommend doing that in some way. Joining the rest of the world and trying to make a difference, you're going to have a great life. See you next time.